Follow all Moser's news on his website, www.mosiers.com. And on his Facebook Moser's and Instagram Moser's 13 page 2. For daily exclusive publications. Hello and welcome on Moser for this new video about ESP. And today let's see about the port level. So please, 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 if you do not have seen my previous video about ESP for the installation and for the common level, please go and see them because perhaps you will be a little bit loose if you start by this one. So shoot them in the good order. Of course, it will be better. If you do not know me, my name is Joel Borg. I work in partnership with Yamaha Music Europe in France. And you can retrieve me every day on Facebook. It's called Moisture. Instagram, Moisture 13. You have the website as a reference, www.moisture.com. And on this YouTube channel, of course, if you are not already a Moisture YouTube follower, please, please, please click on subscribe and click on the bell like that. You will be informed when I release a new video. So let's go and see. ESP and up, tada, it's here. And on the previous video, we have seen the common level. Let's see about the parts. And we start with the AWN2. So you can select, of course, part 1 to 8 and 9 to 16. And here on part 1, and come on, you are here, part, you just select the part. Very easy to select. And here we see a lot of things. Interesting. We do not have a complete fully editor here, but we have a lot of things that you can do some great things to edit your sounds. So you see it's AWN2. You can mute. You can make a solo if you need, of course. If you click here, you want to replace this part or on the name. That's the same thing. And you do not have in the attribute, you do not have a selection for ANX, FMX or AWM2, but you have all, and be sure you have all. I will not change it at this time. And we have this nice analog sweep sound here. That's AWN2. That's ESP alone, 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 alone here, of course. Because I am on local control off on my Montage M hardware keyboard that is connected. And we can also manage the pan, the volume, like that, with the mouse, if I want, like this. And after here, for AWM2, we have some great things. We have the level of the element that we can have here. I have just set some parts with eight elements. You can set for each element the switch on of the pan. The filter type, so you have a lot of filter that you can set here. And if I come back to here, you have the cutoff, you have the EQ type with the low and the high when it's available, depend of the EQ you have. Of course, for this element, each element have an EQ. So this is not the EQ that we are going to see here for the part. This is the element individual EQ. You have the not limit, so you do not have things for the keyboard to change it, but you can change it by hand with the mouse here. And you cannot set the waveform and change the waveform in this teeny editor version that we have no. But here, just reading that is inside. So if you want to really create things through elements, you need to have the montage connected and start it through the montage and you just use the sync to uh, change the things about that. So that's great for IWM2. And after that interact with IWM2, you have on the pitch, you have the notch shift plus or minus 24 semitones. Okay, you have the detune, you have the pitch bend upper and lower that interact with all elements here. And you have the filter here with the principal settings, the curve of resonance, FED depth, the amplitude here. You can move all with, is done here with the mouse. There is no interact with the montage M hardware. And all of this also pass after through the free band EQ that you manage with the mouse. 
of course, and after you go to the insertion FX, so like for the system FX we have seen on the command video, you can select the type, you can select the preset, uh, the dry, wet, but you are, do not have all the settings that we have inside the montage M hardware itself. And after you go to the two band a queue and you can set what kind of a queue you want and what you are going to done. So this is for a WM tube. Let's add a FMX part. So to add a part here, simply press on the, the two here on the number or press on the plus and you have that we call the performance merge. Here I can merge several parts in one shot. I can merge and add several parts or one if I want. I use the source and I can set one. And here I have the FMX. I will add one only. I choose the first one that comes. And you see change, of course, because this is FMX. So we do not have the same things. We have some operators. You see the eight operators here. We have, of course, the algorithm. And you can change the algorithm. You can change the feedback as you want and as you need like that. And you can change the level for each operator, the curse, the find, and the ratio, and the detune here. So you have most of the important operator settings that you have here to edit your FMX. That's very great to have that. You have the general settings to help you in a more easy way with the FM color. FM color is here. It's very great for the FM to have some switch things like that with the uh, fm devs harmonics and texture and you can change the things like that you have the pitch envelope generator too that you can manage and select how many octaves you can have here for the fmx but perhaps you see some things different here here we have the pitch we have the portamento as we have seen for the uh, wm2 and you have here the depth, the speed, but here we have a LFO, low frequency oscillator. And if I go to my AWM2 part, you see there is no LFO here. So this is for the FMX, we have the LFO here, the low frequency oscillator. And I say tile angle, and here if I change, this is the same. Okay, so you need to understand this is the same low frequency oscillator with you have the same value. You move in one, it moves in the other. And here you have the filter, you have the envelope generator with basic settings that will not pass through one bar. And this is that. I think you clearly understand the kind of the resonance of the diff. And that's the ID for the amplitude. We have the envelope generator that we can move with the mouse. So this is for the FM. So let's add an ANX part as a single part. I can do like that. And I take the first one that come and you see some of the things here. Wait, well, let's continue in that way. You see the, the pitch and you see the portamento is here. No, the pitch is here, portamento is here. And we have a LFO here, low frequency oscillator. More, more easy for me to say like that. But here, 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 see, this is different from here. And this is one of them because we can change things and it does not change here. And you have the envelope generator and you have the filter here with the two filter types that you have in A and X and all the settings for the envelope generator and the low frequency oscillator. Here, the things are the same. And here, this is not only graphic view. So for the A and X, the settings to edit are huge, huge, very huge. Even if you do not have all, this is very great to have all that we have here with the waveform type. Here, this is just a graphic. And you have the octave, the pitch, the sync pitch, because each of these are sync pitch. The pulse wave, you have the shape, you have a lot of things and settings, the level, and the FM3 to the one, because the free interact the one. You have the noise here, you, you have all these kind of settings to really make a nice A any song. So, very, very huge things that we have. Here for the ANX, that's very, very, very great to uh, have that. And you see on the AWM2, we do not have the low frequency oscillator here. And here we are on the, the quick edit, and you have the arpeggio, but the arpeggio will go on the bodice. And we have the motion sec. So if the part does not have motion sec, you cannot create it. 
here in this tiny editor. If the part has already a motion set, you can see it. You cannot change the step, like at the command level. It's the same thing that we have seen on the command level video. You can set the part switch or not. You have the command settings that you have seen on the command video, and you have the part settings that are the same. And here you can have a string different, of course, a unit multiplier. I can show you all the values you know, on this view, the amplitude, the shape, the smooth, and the random. And of course, you can select the motion sequence that you want from 1 to 8 for the length. But here, like it's not activated, there is nothing. We cannot set that. It's reading that you have. If you want to edit the things you need to do in the montage hardware. And to finish, we have the arpeggio. I say we go on the bonus on that, but we have the arpeggio view here. I will explain to you and let's come back to quick edit. So if you want to take it and discover it and go deeper into ESP or your montage and your montage mod X, mod X plus for the stage keyboard, the CK or the YC Camelot Pro from Audio Modeling or John Mellat Software, you can ask me for a Moisture Masterclass. It's online through Zoom. We are one-to-one, -one, and you choose the topic we are going to work together. And the great thing is that it's passed through Music Hackspace platform. So you can book directly on my available slots on my calendar, but on your time zone. So we are from Japan, USA, Quebec, uh, Tahiti, from anywhere you are. When you select, this is your time zone. Say, okay, for me, it's this time. No matter what time is it for me, when I am available, it's good for you. So you can do the book and you receive the mail with the Zoom link. All is automatic. That's very great to have that. And for Cuba is also, of course, if you want to work with your ESP Montage M or any other of the synthesized keyboard with Cubase, that's the bonus time. No. So let's come back to the arpeggio for the balance, but not only for the arpeggio. We have seen the AWN2, the FMX, the ANX, but in AWN2, we do not have seen the drums. And if you set the drums and you go to the part level, you have this nice rule. So do not think you can press on the keyboard and hear the note. You need to have a keyboard, a MIDI keyboard connected. Here, this is my montage M, of course. And here you have the Tom floor, and here I can set the second tom. So you can see each of the 73 elements that you have that made a drum kit. You can activate, can activate an element like that. You have the name here. It pass or not through the insert A, B, or pass through, of course, and you can change the course. Oh, yeah. So just have a MIDI keyboard connected or virtual MIDI keyboard and you can manage like that. You can create directly in ESP your drum kit from editing a init or editing uh, an existing like the new OA custom kit that we have on the montage M. We have the fine, you have the, the rancer from the pitch, depend of the velocity. And here you see on the bottom, the settings are a bit different. You have some less, I would say, from the pitch from the filter and the amplitude, but it's the same idea than the other. Do not pass too much time on that. And you have the same thing and the insertion effect and the two bonds. The idea is the same, but I want to show you this nice view for the drum kit because this is very great. And let's go to the Chevron and go to the arpeggio here. So you see, we have some arpeggio. So the part is set to on. I set the up master on and no. I have the same arpeggio that I have on my hardware montage. Um, you have all the arpeggio that's huge. That used to have that. You do not have the all uh, the sync of the things like that on this tiny editor. We will have it on the full version, I think. And here yeah, we can change the swing. We can change the unit multiply, the gate time, rate, velocity. You can change the variation if you want. Like that because we have the arpeggio category shares like this. As you see, I can change and go to Zua, Zua, what is Zua? Now, here, if I set this variation, so I really made some drastic change here to let you hear that you can change the arpeggio variation. Here, we have this nice arpeggio view with all the things that we can do. 
if it's for the drum plug, you have the same for any other sounds you have inside your ESP for your montage amp. So let's come back to that one. And let's now close here. I just closed the windows to view ESP. I have my arpeggio running. So we are on Cubase. That's recording that. So I do not say the sync and the things like that. Just quickly for the video, of course. So let's start to record the MIDI. Here, this is a drum. I need only one note, but if I want to record one of them, of course, it record all. To record all the notes you have, you double click here, and here, if I made a mistake, I can delete that. For the timing here, very easy for the drum. I can do this like that, very easy. So now I can just need to set play. So it's record with my arpeggio, but see, okay, I hear my arpeggio, but there is only one not record. Yes, there is only one not record, the note I play on my keyboard. And like the harp is set to own, it play the arpeggio, but if I want to record in audio, does it record with the arpeggio or not? So, here we do not need to record audio in real time. ESP is inside my Cubase. So I just need to do that recorder. So I, I let it in French because I have only these things to show to you. So render in place. Here it's in French, rendu sur place, render in place in English. I said the first option, and you see also oh, quick explore is the audio file. And yes, we have all the arpeggio record. Even if it's one MIDI not record, you can simply edit it very easy in quick way. So I do not need my ESP, no, because I have render in place my audio. So let's hear it. Ta-da! We have all the arpeggio is recorded in very, very quick way. That's just you to have that, of course. That video ending, I hope you have liked it. I hope you have found it interesting. If yes, please click on the blue thumb. I remember to you, I record this video outside my office day work. This is not linked to the music in any way. So please, 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 if you have liked the video, click on like. Thank you in advance. If you want to support the channel, you have bottom right the video, the super thanks. Super thanks as a kind of donation from $2 to what you want. In if you have found it interesting and learned something, you can help me and support the channel to buy some new gear, new software, renew the licenses for all the job I done for you free on the web and on this YouTube channel. Thank you in advance. If you go in that way, if you want to voice your masterclass, I remember to you information and video description and on window ending that come through the music iSpace platform, of course, for booking your one-to-one -one masterclass session with me. See you for one of our Moisture Montage M and perhaps ESP video. Bye. Would you like to discover, learn, or improve your knowledge of your Yamaha synthesizer or stage keyboard? Book your Moisture's Masterclass now. Your private session is conducted online through Zoom. Take all benefit of Moser's expertise, Yamaha synthesizers, and stage keyboard specialist, and consultant for Yamaha Music Europe and France. As member of international Yamaha Tech Talk live team, music hackspace instructor, and host of the Camelot Pro Sessions, Joel take care of your experience level. Whether you're a beginner or a skilled user, get the most out of your Yamaha synthesizer, stage keyboard, John Mela's software suite, or Camelot Pro. Book your session for your personal Moesers one-to-one session. It's available for users all over the world through Music Hackspace platform. It's easy. Select your date and time from the Moesers calendar available slots on your time zone.
Thank you for watching this Moesers video. Do not forget to click on like, subscribe and click on the bell to be informed when a new video is online. Do not hesitate to write a comment or ask a question. See you soon, bye!